Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be planting these bulbs here. Is it going to come into focus? Never comes into focus. I'll take a photo of the, the front of this and, and uh, post it up in the corner over there. And um, I don't know how to say this, it's Lachinalia, Lachinalia, uh, Francie. Uh, so anyway, there's eight bulbs in here. Uh, really cool looking flowers. I actually bought this in... I bought it in the end of June, the beginning of July. I was uh, on vacation in uh, Nova Scotia and uh, was at a garden center there. Surprise, surprise. And uh, I saw these as little bulbs and I, I said to myself, well, this would be a nice little memento to take back with me. And uh, it's been sitting here for months. <laughs> It's been sitting up by my desk uh, upstairs and uh, just never, never doing anything. Uh, so anyway, while I was there, I also bought a pot. I bought this, uh, at the time, thought it was a fabulous color. The uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a bio-pot. It's, it's made of bamboo. And uh, so it's a biodegradable pot. And I don't know, they... They were just cute, and I thought I needed a pot to plant things in because, you know, I don't have enough pots. As you can see all around me, I've, I've got pots everywhere. So anyway, just, they had red ones, and they had blue ones, and they had purple ones, and all kinds of other things. But specific to this size, this size had less options. Smaller, a little bit more options, and bigger, a little bit more options. But they were, they were pretty picked through for this uh, five or six inch size. Anyway, I just want to show you... Uh, <laughs> It's a nice sturdy pot, though. It's a really good pot. Um, doo, 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 doo. I just wanted to show you, when I got home, I thought, this is such a pretty color. And then I got home, and I'm like, well, they're very similar to all the other very, very inexpensive pots that I already have. <laughs> so, I should have bought a red one, or I should have bought a blue one. Not really using my noodle over here. Uh, so anyway, I've got this pot uh, specifically for this. I also thought that the colors uh, in here, I'm not sure whether you're able to see the colors, um, would kind of go nice with this color pot. So anyway, they're little trumpet flowers. They've kind of got a little bit of a daffodil kind of feel to them. So we're going to plant these right now and uh, see how they grow. Uh, don't know if they're going to grow. Uh, it's been way too long. These are from South Africa. They're native to South Africa, so uh, their growing seasons are opposite me. So maybe holding on to them a little bit longer is a good thing. Uh, so anyway, let's get to it. Let's uh, check out the pot. Let's check out the soil and get to planting. Won't take long. Then stay tuned for updates. Okay, so with these guys here, how, how deep does it say to plant them? Uh, dig a hole slightly larger than the bulbs. All right. Place in hole and then cover with soil and water thoroughly. All right, I'm not going to water thoroughly on camera, but I will miss them and then I'll stick them in the sink and let them soak. I just did a little bit of research on these and these like uh, a full sun to part shade. They also like to be um, constantly moist, but not wet. Uh, and they like to be a well-draining soil. So they don't want to dry out completely when grown in pots or in the ground. So, yeah. Um, normally bulbs like to have a dry period, otherwise they rot. These all look still very, very good. Uh, some of these have little growth tips right here, thank goodness. Um, they're easy to tell whether they're still alive because they're white. Uh, if they were brown or crusty, then they'd probably not been good. So, anyway, let's uh, get the, so the pot ready. I'll use my paper towel method. Whatever you have works fine if you want to use stones or coffee filters or whatever the heck you want to use. And then I've got my uh, seed starting mix. This is a nice uh, well-draining mix. It's a it's a peaty mix, but it's got lots of little perlite in there. Uh, it holds moisture, but it doesn't hold too much moisture. Alright, so let's put some soil in the bottom of this pot. I'm going to leave about an inch and a half from the, uh, from the top of the pot. And now... With these, can you see this? This is the top here where it's starting to grow. And then you see the, the, the basal plate or the basal plate down the bottom. 
and it looks like there's some little root development growing on here. So we're just going to pop these in their correct uh, position. This is the bottom. Notice the, uh, the, the plate there and then it's just a little, little hole in the top. That is the top. This is the bottom. Should be eight of them. Look at all the little roots here. Can you see those? This one really wants to grow. So we're just going to pop these all in here. These are supposedly naturalizing. They're not hardy to my zone, so that's part of the reason why I'm growing them in pots. And uh, I can I can bring them inside over the winter and just uh, <coughs> excuse me. You want to keep the the soil moist until uh, the leaves completely die, and then once the leaves completely die back, you want to let them dry out, and then and then uh, you can store them in a cool, dark place. Um, but a frost free zone, so you don't want them to ever freeze. And uh, then in the springtime, you can pull them back out, and when they start to grow, you can start to water them again. So, and if uh, it reaches that time where you want them to grow and they've been dormant, uh, but they're just not growing yet, then you can um, you can give them a little bit of moisture to try to coax them into to growth mode. So let's add a little bit of soil to the top here. I'm only going to cover them by about an inch. I don't want to cover them too much. Next year when we grow them, we'll see what they like and what they don't like and we can we can uh, adjust it accordingly. I don't know what type of bulbs these are again, so I just like the picture. So now we got the soil on there. I'll move this out of the way, I don't want to get that too wet. Remember, I'm going to uh, take this to the sink and give them a good drink after I'm done filming. And if you've grown these, let me know how they grow and if there's any secrets to them because this is my first time and I will be just new to this and very excited to see how they how they respond and how they grow and maybe they could be grown as an indoor plant. I doubt it. They like full sun so they'd probably stretch inside. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for growing with me and uh, happy growing everyone. These are the medium size, these are the large size, and this is the extra large size. Um, they're all very unique and very different, so he obviously has several different molds that he uses because uh, they're all very unique, they're very cool. Um, even within the, 